My name is John Lynch. I'm playing uh, Pope Sixtus. Sixtus was famously, notoriously part of the Pazzi's conspiracy. He gave his blessing for the assassinations of Lorenzo and Giuliano in the Duomo on Sunday. I think Sixtus is less of a bad guy than I thought he was going to be. I originally I was expecting something much darker. You speak to me about following Christ's example. You only have hatred in your heart. So the Pope, who was sympathetic to Lorenzo, now becomes his enemy. There, and, and this is a, a, a conflict that people want to reconcile, but they cannot, because Lorenzo cannot forgive the Pope for what he has done. How can you think to bring harmony to the world when you do not carry it in your own heart? I am St. Peter's successor! This is the work of the devil. It is the work of Lorenzo de' Medici. The Pope has declared war. And one of the things he does to try to undermine Lorenzo is he excommunicates the city. And therefore, that means no baptisms, no one can be given last rites, and that creates discontent. And that's when Lorenzo meets this character, Bruno Bernardi. He's a counselor, I guess, consigliere. He comes, comes to Lorenzo at a time, Lorenzo's surrounded by doubt. Lorenzo needs someone to say, you're right. So that's what we need. There's a great John Lennon song, Give Me Some Truth. You have to do this. He's a brilliant political tactician. He's sort of uh, Machiavelli before Machiavelli. I found his book, The Prince, really helpful. Madonna Medici. Save your breath. But why are you here? To understand you. He's he sort of mysterious. We don't really know where he came from. You never talk about your past. Not all of us have a story. But he's a brilliant political advisor. And Lorenzo realizes there's a way to defeat the Pope. He has got rid of the Priori, which was, you know, the center of the Republic in Florence, and installed this Council of Ten, which basically just rubber stamps all of his decisions. The Priori will appoint a war council of ten to be headed by me. They will rule Florence without interruption until there is peace. Bruno, he's a, a genius at advising Lorenzo in all the clever things you can do just this side of the law without being discovered. As a simple metaphor, I think we all have maybe two voices in our head, we all have faith, we all have fear. I think Bruno possibly represents the more fearful side. I, I guess the other voice, for example, Peruzzi, represents um, something much more different than that. What you need to do is to love and to be open and, and caring and considerate and patient and kind and tolerant. This council is nothing but a front for tyranny. Tommaso Peruzzi was a lot like a young Lorenzo. He's a lot like Lorenzo was in the previous season, an idealist. I serve Florence, not Lorenzo. In the name of Florence, perhaps you could also remind Lorenzo that this used to be a republic. Tommaso, he admires Lorenzo because he doesn't quite realize how dark Lorenzo has become. You could have stopped it. You knew and did nothing. He saved you. Did he tell you that? Honesty is a weakness of character. You know, you have to remember at the time, these were men who, who had enormous amounts of power. Those relationships were really about favoritism and, and, and getting one up on each other. He's safe because of me. We all are. How have you done? Through bribery and blackmail, threats. 